we are so excited to be back in the Caucasus, more specifically in the amazing Georgia. The Caucasus is one of the most diverse areas on the planet. There's over 50 different languages spoken, all sorts of different landscapes from incredibly high mountains to tropical beaches, even to deserts, some of the most awesome food and some of the most hospitable people. We are staying in Tbilisi and today we want to show you what we think is one of the most underrated cities in Europe. So let's go! So apparently Tbilisi has changed a lot over the past 15 years. And one of the more modern additions is Rike Park right in the centre and we're going to start the day there. So behind us just over there, going from the park into the city centre, is the Bridge of Peace, which was built after the 2008 war. Usually you can grab a cable car up to the fortress, but we're going to walk it. I would have grabbed a cable car. <laughs> it's just closed now. So we're in the old town at the moment and you can walk through the little winding streets from here up to the oh. fortress itself. But yeah, it would have been easier with a cable car. Pretty steep, pretty steep and very hot. So the Georgian language is part of a small family here in the Caucasus called the Kartvelian languages, which are actually completely unrelated to any other languages in the world. It's not an Indo-European language or anything. It's a totally separate family, totally unique. And the script itself is totally unique and totally indecipherable for a foreigner. They've actually got three different scripts in Georgian and they all learn and they learn all of them at school. You've got the main one that they use in their day-to-day -day life. And then there's two others. One's only used by the church and one's pretty much extinct now. But imagine having to learn three different scripts just for your own language, yeah. And then they also learn English and Russian at school. So that's like five different scripts you need to know as a Georgian. It wasn't that bad, really. In Georgian, Georgia is Sakartvelo. Such a beautiful name. Churches I can see without 14 churches I can see without even counting properly, like looking with what's it called binoculars? It's called binoculars yeah. without binoculars. As you walk out of the fortress, when you go sort of round it and down, there is a waterfall right in the middle of the city. And it's pretty, it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty amazing, I want to say, it's pretty. So let's go and check it out. There are thermal baths there and in this part of the city you can really smell the thermal springs the egg is in the air
So Georgia was actually the second nation on earth to adopt Christianity after neighboring Armenia. Um, and as Julia said, there was loads of churches everywhere you look, all over the country, especially in Tbilisi. But here in the old town, there's also a mosque and a synagogue. Georgia is a birthplace of wine, if you didn't know. We can explore that in our different videos. However, now we got some cash out to try ice cream made from homemade wine. So this ice cream is made from Saparavi grapes, which are grown here in Georgia. Let's give it a go. It's really different, isn't it? It's really nice. It's like um, it's almost like a black currant. You can like almost taste the the what is it the, the pinch of the grapes. You know, like the sourness of the grapes. Almost like that alcoholy kick to it. It's really nice. It's got a real refreshing taste to it. worth mentioning that despite all the beauty that you've seen throughout Tbilisi there are quite a few houses that in a bad state that really need repairing and you would have thought they're literally falling apart and you would have thought that they're empty but people still live there unfortunately Georgia is not a very rich country so I'm guessing they just can't afford to do that but just really hope that it will change soon So this is Liberty Square, which is like the main square of the city. You've got Mother Georgia in the background there, and then that is Rustavelli Street, which is like the main street through the heart of Tbilisi. Let's go have a look. Tbilisi actually is a very multicultural place. There are lots of students from around the world coming here to study. You've probably seen a big tower looking over Tbilisi for the whole day of us filming. Well, apparently there's a funicular that takes you up the top there and there's a park there and everything, so we're gonna go and take a look now. So this at the top here is Matatsminda Park. It's not really that much to see. It's like a child's theme park, isn't it? From like the Soviet era. But the view from here is pretty awesome over the city. So let's have a look at that. Tbilisi though, it's not a very big city with lots of famous sites to see but it's one of those places that give you this warm feeling, you just feel at home here and it's got a charm about it that's very hard to put into words, well for me anyway, you just want to walk and walk around here with all these winding beautiful streets, grab a glass of wine here and there and all this amazing food that you will see in all our future videos and people are so friendly again you will see it in our future videos watch our future videos by the way but it's just green in here and we love Belisi so much I, I really hope that you come here and you love it too
Okay, we're back down and last on our agenda for today is... So we ordered a couple of different things. This soup is called harcho and it's a traditional Georgian soup. It's really popular in Russia as well. So let's try it. The smell of it is really strong. You can smell just all kinds of different spices. I don't know how to describe it, it's just too good. Amazing. It's amazing, yes, it's very meaty. Mm. That's amazing. Is it how you expected it? To be honest, no. I thought it would have more of a nutty flavour, but it's a really meaty flavour. I thought it was going to make a meal for some reason. That's so nice. It's a really meaty broth. Yes. It's similar to. Like in the UK we have oxtail soup. It's similar to that, just with loads of different herbs and like you say, Georgian spices in there as well. That is so nice. Okay, first off I want to say I got a bit excited about the harcho and <laughs> sprayed it all over myself. <laughs> Next, we've got two things here. This is called hinkali and this is hachapoi. These are both different versions of the two dishes and we've got a food video coming up and we're going to show you the They're proper, the famous, yeah, the real deal coming up in those videos but these ones are with mushrooms usually the main ones have meat but as i say that's in the food video and this hachapuri is called uh, hachapuri on a spit hachapuri in georgian means cheese bread so hacha cheese puri bread cheese bread so it's a cooked cheese bread let's dig into the king curry first and let you know what they like and the technique is bite in Drink the juice and then bite away. But don't eat the head, because that's just pastry. That goes down on the plate. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. If you ever had a pierogi in Poland or Vareniki in Russia and Ukraine, like with mushrooms and stuff, they're very, very similar. Like this is spiced very similar. But the, the pastry is a bit different, it's more sort of elastic here. Compared to a pig. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. We love it so much. Also, in Georgia, you can get hinkalis with all different kinds of filling, like cheese, potato, we got mushroom because we really wanted to try it. And these hachapuri, there are over 50 varieties of them. Can you think of 50 ways, over 50 ways, of how to cook dough and cheese? It's just crazy. So let's try it. We've never tried this one before, actually, so I'm super excited. <gasps> Oh my word. <gasps> oh god. The party is over. Okay. Traditionally in Hajapuri there is a Georgian cheese inside, so let's try it. It's amazing. It's really interesting to try this version as well. So the dough itself, it's, it's just incredible. It's like a cloud. It's slightly chewy. It's just incredibly tasty. And the cheese, it's very stringy, as you might have noticed. And it's slightly salty. And if I was to compare it, it's probably a bit like mozzarella, mixed with mozzarella and feta. Slightly salty, but not over salty. And uh, very stretchy, it's just beautiful. Mm. The food was awesome, so we just left. And we're racing back because at the moment in Georgia there's a 9 o'clock curfew and it's 25 past 8 at the moment, so we'll speak to you when we're near a home. Because but if you get caught, it's a very big fine. Yes, yeah, it's, like, it's like 400 quid. Yeah. Ugh. Very bad. So we're going to run <laughs> and we'll speak to you near a home. Okay, we made it. It's two minutes to nine, so the old jogging legs came good. We smashed it. And really hope that you enjoyed exploring Tbilisi with us. Obviously, it's the capital of Georgia, and there is so much more to show and to see. So check back for all of our future videos here in Georgia, because we love this country so much, we cannot wait to show you it. And thank you very much for watching this video, and see you in the next one. Some vloggers have all the gear now. 
And like Julia said, there is churches everywhere. When do they say that? Up the top. Yeah. Were you filming me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>